Okay, we're going to have to have a come to Jesus meeting. This is it. This is my last warning. So pay attention. Because this food crisis is getting real. Now, it doesn't seem like it because everything's stocked up. But if you're watching the news, you really should be paying attention. You see, I don't know if you saw about some of the major meatpacking industries just shutting down. And the problem is, it's not that America doesn't have as much food, it's just they don't have a good way to process it. So a lot of stuff comes in processed from overseas sometimes. But with meat and stuff, you're talking, like just this article is, talks about eight different factories. I mean, that is millions and millions of uh, animals not being processed. Now, I'm not a meat eater, so that doesn't affect me. But how it's going to affect you, if you're not a meat eater either, what's going to happen is in a week's time, meat's going to skyrocket in price, and then it's going to be very hard to get. And people will start uh, moving over to the vegetables, and those will skyrocket in price. And, the, and you're already seeing that with the canned foods and the rice and the beans, like I've been yelling at you guys. So the meat eaters will no longer have meat, and they'll move on to the vegetables and be omnivores. They'll eat everything else. And you can't even find canned meat in stores and stuff like that. It's really hard. I would say the stuff on the shelves right now, it'll be there for another week or two, and then you're going to notice a massive price jump. Um, this is it. So if you're a meat eater, go stock up. If you're not, count that the meat eaters are going to then turn to the vegetables. And what's going to happen, you know, I mean, if you're looking at these articles, these are major um, news services that are promote. you know, this isn't like some crazy conspiracy site. These are like, you know, New York Times, CNN, uh, the lamestream media that are promoting this and talking about it. I have one article here, you know, I'm going to show you here that they're describing it as a food shortage of biblical proportions. Like that scares the hell out of me to hear that. Right now, everything's calm and cool and people got their checks and stuff. But remember what I, if you've watched any of my videos, the food supply is very sensitive and it stopped a while back. So eventually that's going to hit here. And guys, if you've never seen it, like I don't know if you've ever lived through um, a hurricane coming or a storm. It is literally within hours, everything's gone. So when it hits, it is massive panic buying. You haven't even seen panic buying. This is going to be like a, that kind of nationwide when, when things get out. Because, you know, the lamestream media is keeping it suppressed. Like, I don't know if you saw that Twitter is now censoring any uh, tweets about food shortages. And I imagine that's just a matter of time till YouTube picks up and, and knocks this channel out and says, you know, you're not allowed to talk about this anymore. Because the censorships have gotten really bad over at uh, Facebook and YouTube. So... I imagine that's coming here and you're not going to hear about it until it's too late. So that's it. I, I'm i going to share some articles with you. And you guys, you're going to listen or you're not. I'm done uh, being the, <laughs> the preacher man. I'm, I'm, I'm done giving you crap about it. I'm going to share to you what you probably haven't even heard about or people are talking about. And then you decide what you want to do. But uh, let me take you through some of the articles I'm seeing. And I hope to... Uh, rattle you a little not try to scare you but say hey this is the dawn before the storm you know you got a chance right now to finish up your prepping so do it here we go remember when i told you guys that when it starts getting out to the mainstream media uh that you need to really pay attention check out this headline coronavirus pandemic will cause global famines of biblical proportions u.n warns the fact that they say biblical proportions, I don't really get scared about much, but that's awful. Like, for a lot of you guys that don't realize that when you go through this article and you read about how many people are starving, that 821 million are already chronically hungry, and that's going to push up to a billion due to dire uh, circumstances. 55 countries are at the risk of being plunged into famine. This isn't, I mean, those numbers are just mind-boggling. So you got to remember that, you know, in the U.S., we're pretty fat and comfortable. But in the rest of the world, they're going meal to meal and starving, especially, you know, these guys that work all day for a, a bowl of rice, and they're not allowed to be outside working right now. And their families are just literally starving. 
So this is going to cause a serious famine like we've never seen. When that happens, a lot of countries are going to lock down and start keeping their own food. They're not going to ship it anymore. And you're already starting to see... Um, I saw someone in my comments mention that I believe it's either Thailand or Vietnam has stopped shipping rice and that Russia has stopped shipping wheat. You know, those are the major places that comes out of those staple foods. You guys have to start really taking this serious because right now everything's back on the shelves. Everybody's like, ah, oh, we're through it. It's almost over. But this is right around the corner. This is a really good time to pay attention to the gaps in your uh, your lockdown stuff. So in other words, like you're like, oh, I wish I had bought more rice. I should have bought more beans. I, sh I forgot to buy a can opener. I should buy some extra can openers. They have 20 cans and, you know, I got all these cans and, and one can opener. Stuff like that. Start to put together a list because you can still get anything you want pretty much out there. Um, although, you know, rice is still hard to see. It, it's uh, interesting in my comments on my channel, you'll see that uh, if you go back through some of my stories, someone was saying that there was a sign up uh, saying their rice was, um, it said no more rice due to uh, manufacture. Like they're out, but that's because the manufacturer isn't shipping it anymore. And you're starting to see those signs starting to pop up in stores. Uh, you need to be concerned. So stock up now. Take care of yourself and family. Again, I don't like scaring people, but we don't know how crazy this is going to get. And the poor rest of the world is going to hit, just get killed way harder than I am. So my heart goes out to them. And it's going to cause a lot of panic and chaos. Thanks for sticking with me. Remember, take care of you and your family. Be responsible. People are like, don't go out and panic buy. It's not panic buying. It's being responsible for taking care of your family. And I've gotten to the point where, um, to me, it's, it's like a fire. You know, we all live in an apartment building, and the apartment building's on fire. And I'm running through the hallway, knocking on people's doors, going, hey, apartment building's on fire. And people want to stand around. You know, a lot of people will leave and go, oh, thank you. And then there's some people that are like, well... Prove to me the apartment building's on fire. I don't believe you. That's not happening. You know, I don't have time for that. I just go and knock on the next door. Let that person burn. You know, people have been warned. I've been sitting here just screaming at you guys to start a garden. Uh, go out and stock up on dry goods. At this point, I, you know, I'm, I'm getting to the point where I'm almost done badgering y'all. I, I think it's a place of to be of empowerment to take care of your family. And it's, it's not panic buying. Go out there and protect yourself. Stock up. That's it. Start a garden. That being said, you know, YouTube, uh, if the censorship doesn't kill this channel, it's already killed it monetarily. I don't make any living on YouTube anymore, practically. Uh, so, I'm counting on, hopefully, Amazon. If you guys are shopping for garden supplies, please go through that Amazon link. It really helps. And uh, lastly, if you, you know, try to keep things afloat while the practice is shut down and everything... I'm selling uh, these wood carvings, so if you want to buy a wood carving, please contact me. Just look at my email address below, and I'll, uh, I'll carve something custom for you. All right, thank you. Hang in there. Take care of each other.